But I think one of the most compelling things to me is that the demonic world, Satan, has spent so much time having authors and movie script writers, playwriters and directors and producers put out stuff for decades and decades and decades about UFOs, aliens, encounters, um, uh, the idea of people being removed from the earth, books being written that millions of people will disappear from the earth. It happens to be those that are causing the division, stopping the hormonic convergence and the good energy. It's all kind of interesting. I mean, why would Satan be trying to explain away the rapture if the rapture is not true? But that's something you guys can think about. But I do believe something is in the wind. I'd love to get your thoughts on this after we play some clips and open the phone lines. Why do you think this is becoming such a big deal? Now, we have three whistleblowers, or a few whistleblowers, I should say, a few whistleblowers that have come forward. One of them is uh, uh, not a whistleblower. I think he's just a com he's a former commander, pilot. And again, he's in, in some of the TV shows I've produced talking about uh, this TikTok, as he calls it, or Tic Tac, like a Tic Tac, uh, white, small little object that was flying around. And he's saying, look, this is our experience with it. You'll hear that today. But I think this is newsworthy because from a Christian worldview perspective, there are many narratives here at play. Many narratives here at play. One of them is Darwinian evolution. One of them is, oh, there's more evolved life than Earth or aliens or more advanced civilizations. Remember, there are many within the demonic occultic world that are talking to aliens they say you could go on youtube and put into a search engine uh channeling aliens and you'll find people who have videos that are routinely telling you how they are channeling aliens that are telling their uh host what it is that is coming now i think what they're channeling are demons just as the new agers channel spirit or master guides that they think are individuals more highly evolved through the process of reincarnation i believe these people that claim they're channeling aliens are channeling demons they're all channeling the same thing demons posing as, as different things sometimes they you're, oh you're talking to your dead relative uh no you're not it's appointed unto every man to die once face the judgment there's nothing in the scripture about in fact the bible says not to have anything to do with talking to the dead well, they're not really talking to the dead now, are they? But attempting to talk to the dead, what they're talking to are demons. Now, I believe, again, this is laying the foundation for the idea that we need some kind of technocratic savior. I go back to what Ron Carlson said in his book that came out, I think, in 1995, Fast Facts on False Teaching. If you had a technocratic savior show up on a UFO and land and offer to solve the world's problems, how much of the world would be now prepared? Well, think about that in 1995, and think about that now in 2023. Much of the world we would be prepared to receive such a demonic, technocratic savior, whether it was the false prophet or that was the Antichrist. Maybe the false prophet will be some kind of extraterrestrial, if you will. I don't know. I don't know what the demonic world's preparing, but I know they are preparing a great deception. And so one of the agendas being furthered here is Darwinian evolution. Well, there are advanced lives through, through biological evolution. There are more advanced lives and civilizations. What's also being advanced here is the idea that we need a savior, a technocratic savior. Someone that is more advanced, that understands our problems and our challenges, and they've already figured these things out because they are millions and millions and millions of years ahead of us in biological and spiritual evolution. So it's not only promoting the idea of Darwinian biological evolution, it's also promoting the idea of spiritual evolution. So this is a big deal, but don't I do not expect for most of you, your quote, pastors, end quote, to understand anything I'm saying, because they don't go to seminary, most of your so-called pastors, they don't go to seminary to learn the Bible. They go there, by and large, to learn marketing and promotions and, and so-called administration and how to recruit nickels and noses. Most of them don't learn theology, doctrine, biblical worldview. 
So I don't anticipate most of you. Now, some of you, you have real pastors. Praise the Lord for them, right? Some of you have real pastors. And your real pastors, the real shepherds, may very well, some of them, get in the pulpit this next Sunday and talk about this the way I am. Because they do have the spiritual understanding and discernment to know that there is something in the wind. This isn't just happening by chance, folks. The world is being prepared. Now, again, before I go to the first clip, Think about this in the context of everything else that's happening in the world. You got right there in Syria, you have Russia, you have Iran, you have Turkey, you have all these nations right there on Israel's border inside Syria. You have the talk of a biological or a, a, a biometrics, a central bank digital currencies, cashless society. Mark of the Beast technology that tracks you and where you go, what you can buy. 15-minute cities. If you go outside your 15-minute city, you're going to pay a fortune for food and gas. If you spend too much money on things they don't want you to spend money on that acknowledge the worship of nature, Mother Earth, Gaia Earth worship, you're damaging Mother Earth. You have consumed too much meat, too much fossil fuels. Now we're going to tax you. The money's going to come out of your account. Social credit scores, wars, rumors of wars, plagues, pandemics the persecution of Christians, the rise in hostility toward Christians. Can we keep going? World government, a one-world economy, really the rise of a one-world religion, pantheism, all is God, God is all. All of these things are happening right now at the same time. China is growing. Are they the army from the east? All the nations that will come against Israel, as described in the Old Testament book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel 38, 39, they are now in military and economic alliance. America is being brought down. The BRICS is rising, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. They're now saying we're going to back our, our trading currency, digital currency, with gold. The decline of the U.S. dollar. America is in revolution. Our borders are open. We're going to nas national... Uh, global government versus national governments. All of these things are a prophetic. Uh, well, they're really prophetic in that much of the Bible talks about these things. And then right on cue comes the Congress holding hearings on aliens and they have supposed alien craft. Wait for it, folks. They're even testifying they have alien bodies, non-human bodies. Now, they weren't specific, non-human. Okay, so was it a chimpanzee? Non-human. Okay, well, that would be a chimpanzee. Did you did you guys get a hold of some, some technology from NASA they're not telling you about or <clears throat> the uh, NSA or some other government agency or a foreign government agency that has some craft that's more advanced than what we have and they had a chimpanzee in there? I mean, that's non-human. So they're not being very specific. And I would have been asking more specific, okay, you say non-human. That could be a chimpanzee. That could be a dog. What do you mean when you say non-human? But folks, this is, I think, is quite interesting when you think about all the things going on today. Is it true that you saw, in your words, a 40-foot flying TikTok-shaped <laughs> object? That's correct. Or for some people that can't know what a TikTok is, it's a giant flying propane tank. Fair enough. Did this object come up on radar or interfere with your radar or the USS Princeton? The Princeton tracked it. The Nimitz tracked it. The E-2 tracked it. We never saw it on our radars. Our fire control radars never picked it up. The other airplane that took the video did get it on a radar. As soon as it tried to lock it, it jammed the radar, spit the lock, and he, he rapidly switched over to the targeting pod, which you can do in the, uh, the F-18. From what you saw that day and what you've seen on video, did you see any source of propulsion from the flying object, including on any potential th thermal scans from your aircraft? No, there's none. There's no uh, IR plume coming out. Uh, and Chad, who took the video, went through all the EO, which is black and white TV, and the IR modes, and there's no visible signs of propulsion. It's just sitting in space at 20,000 feet. In, in your career, have you ever seen a propulsion system that creates no thermal exhaust? No. Can you describe how the aircraft maneuvered? Uh, abruptly, uh, very determinate. It knew exactly what it was doing. It was aware of our presence, and it had acceleration rates. I mean, it went from zero to matching our speed in no time at all.
Now, if the fastest plane on Earth was trying to do these maneuvers that you saw, would it be capable of doing that? No, not even close. And just to confirm, this object had no wings, correct? No wings. Now, was the aircraft that you were flying, was it armed? No, never felt threatened at all. If, if the aircraft was armed, do you believe that your aircraft or any aircraft in possession of the United States could have shot the Tic Tac down? I'd say no, just on the performance, it would have just left in a, in a split second. It looks like that we have a problem here that needs further investigation. <laughs> yes. Uh, in your belief, is this, this flying Tic Tac, I mean, is, this, is it capable of being the product of any other nation on the Earth? No, I actually, I said, like I said earlier, I think it defies current material science and the ability to develop that much propulsion. And I, I know there's been some physicists have done calculations, which is beyond anything that we have. Well, either the United States has an adversary here in this world that we don't know, or we really have some serious investigations to do. I, I really appreciate you being here. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. And was this documentary evidence, this video, photos, eyewitness, like how would that be determined? The specific documentation I would have to talk to you in a skiff about. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay. So, and, and you may or may not be able to answer my last question, and maybe we get into a skiff at the next hearing that we have, but who in the government either, what agency, sub-agency, what contractors, who should be called into the next hearing about mm -hmm. UAPs, either in a public setting or even in a private setting? And, and you probably can't name names, but what agencies or organizations, contractors, et cetera, do we need to call in to get these questions answered, whether it's about funding, what programs are happening, and what's out there? I can give you a specific cooperative and hostile witness list of specific individuals uh, that were in those. And, and how soon can we get that list? I'm happy to provide that to you after the hearing. It said that there, 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 there uh, has been harmful activity or aggressive activity. Mm -hmm. Has any of the activity um, been aggressive, been um, hostile in your reports? Uh, I know of multiple colleagues of mine that got physically injured. And uh, the activity... And I gotta, by, to, by UAPs or by, by people within the, the federal government? Both. Okay, yeah. so yeah. there has been activity by, by alien or non-human non technology and or beings that has caused harm to humans. Uh, I can't get into the specifics in a, an open environment, but at least the activity that I personally witnessed, and I have to be very careful here, because uh, you don't, you know, they tell you never to acknowledge tradecraft, right? So what I personally witnessed myself and my wife was very disturbing. Ways in which current technology or aircraft that we know of are unable to actually function or move. And so will you just, for the public record, again, once, once again, um, just uh, briefly uh, dis either describe or note that aircraft that are being witnessed, particularly by the 30 folks that you're working with, are essentially outside the scope of anything that we know of today and the technology we have today. Mr. Graves, Mr. Fravor. Yes, uh, the objects that are being seen by commercial pilots are uh, performing maneuvers that are unexplainable due to our current understanding of our technology and our capabilities as a country. And that applies for the military as well. Mr. 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 Fever? Yeah, I concur with that. We have nothing that can stop in midair and go the other direction, nor do we have anything that can, like in our situation, come down from space, hang out for three hours and go back up. Thank you. My last question, and, so, and sometimes you, I know that some, you have also said some of these answers in the past, but we're trying to get them on the public record as well, which is really important. Mr. Gresh, finally, do you believe that our government is in possession of UAPs? Uh, absolutely, based on interviewing uh, over 40 witnesses over four years. And, and, and where? I know the exact locations. Our aircraft. Some of the behaviors that we saw in a working area, we would see these objects uh, being at 0.0, .0 Mach, that's zero airspeed, over certain pieces of the ground. So what that means, just like a river, if you throw a bobber in, it's going to float downstream. These objects were staying completely stationary in Category 4 hurricane winds. These same objects would then accelerate to supersonic speeds, 1.1, 1.2 Mach. 
uh, and they would do so in very erratic and, and quick behaviors that we don't, I don't have an explanation for.